Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am here on East Vineland, Vineland, uh, New Jersey, United States of America. This is a new mod map out from Mac Trucker 921, 298.65 megabytes to download. Um, buckle in, this map is packed with features. Um, I'm going to read a couple of bits and then as we go around, I'll hopefully have, my notes are unlike any other map I've done. Um, so the map was created from the area of my hometown and the map area was created from actual satellite photos. Uh, Vineland is a southern area of New Jersey, it's very rural. Uh, most of the area of the city is farmland and forests. Uh, it does say that most of the buildings, fields, trees and houses are as close to where they are in real life. But to obviously make it as a farming simulator map, um, some productions and in-game sale points have ad been added in where obviously they don't exist in real life, which is pretty cool. Um, I've got a list of seven or eight things that I need to say as well. One, canola and soybean have had added straw swaths. So if you're doing canola and soybean, you can get straw swaths off it on this map. Um, now, productions hold more pallets in the spawn points and they've been given higher capacities. Now, I've, I have a couple of question marks over a couple of things on here. One is that, because I did some testing. I did the um, grain mill plus. The flour that came out was still 1,000 litres. That wasn't an increased capacity. The corn mill coming out was 4,000. So I wasn't sure, so I then checked the carpentry. I ran the carpentry. The furniture that came out was also 1,000. So when it says that um, production it says production pallets have higher capacities obviously i can't run all of the productions to see you know this is a map tour not an in-depth kind of this is, is a lot going on in this um the third one land prices uh i've been taken from an average of the actual area plots of land with houses on are going to cost more than plots of land without because in the real world they would be because they've got houses on them um the Third, that was right. Fourth, I'll oh, be going to that later on. Verges. If we go to the map, this is this is what the map looks like. And on New Farmer, normal economy is what I'm on and what we've started with. We do start with this plot here. We do start with this plot here and these two fields. The verges are zero in value, and they take in a few of these little points around the map. One of them being the biogas plant. So on Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, you don't start with any of those little bot, uh, blocks. But if you do want to buy them, you can. And that means you will get the biogas plant for zero. So you can get that plot. If you don't want to, you don't have to buy those plots. And you can leave the biogas plant until you're ready to or you know, whatever you want to do. Field prices, as I said, kind of mirror average pricing for the area in real life. So if we go down, I mean, they're, they're fairly pricey. Buying land isn't cheap. You know, I suppose we kind of got used to in-game small plots are very cheap and then larger plots cost more. Um, so when you look at the size of plots, some of these are pretty hefty in price. Um, that was that. Oh, yeah. Bale triggers have been added. So on animal pens, when we get to animal pens, uh, it is... What was it? Pigs, cows, sheep and pigs. Um, have got so the cows and pigs for bedding for um, yeah, straw if you put the bales down it will gradually use the bales so it will take bales and for the sheep it will be for feed um, for hay or grass bales for the sheep um, put the bales down and it will gradually take those away um, and also um, number eight I was going to say bushes are mowable so as we go around and you see any of the bushes on the map apparently when you mow them they won't grow back but grass will so the bushes are mowable so i said it was packed with features i wasn't joking um there'll be more as we go around <laughs> the list continues we start here at our sleep trigger our farmhouse this is sellable we own the land um, if you want to sell the farmhouse and start somewhere else you can or put a different farmhouse down you absolutely can as far as um i just say contracts are available i think on all the fields there's 118 fields i think contracts are available on all of them 
Uh, mods, as far as mods go, I'm saying about demolishing or removing the house, which you can do. If we go down to sheds, we've got... Uh, no, it wasn't sheds. Where was it? The carport, I think. Under silos, if we go to the end, we have got a Farmer 800 silo, but that capacity has been changed. It's a million litres, not 800,000. Plus, it's a multi-fruit silo, which also includes grapes. Um, we've got under... What was it? Under productions. Under factories. When we get along to the end... All of these are all additional, so these have had extra things added in, including the Grain Mill Plus there, which does crack corn and corn mill. Uh, if we go to sell points, we've got a debris crusher, not the standard debris crusher, we just sell your stones. This is one that will crush them into lime. And then we've got all the other sell points added on there, including the, including the farmer's market. Under animals, we have got under cows on the end there. Uh, that will hold 250 as opposed to the one there that's only 80. So that's been adjusted. Horses, I don't think we have. Pigs, we have on the end there. The 164,000 one, rather than taking 270, we'll take 350. Uh, sheep, that one is 135 grand. A bit more, but it will do 500 sheep. And chickens, we've got one here that will do 500 chickens. So, speaking of that... As we go around the corner, we've got a carport there. We've got a chicken pen, custom chicken pen. Now, we don't own this plot of land. So if I go onto the map and we zoom in here, if we look at the plot, we own the bit here that's got the farmhouse on. That plot there will cost you 45 grand. Um, so what I'm going to do is buy that. And then what will happen is the triggers will appear. So 500 chickens. And as you can see, feed is considerably different. So rather than just wheat and barley... We've got sorghum, oat, sunflower, and cracked corn on there. And as far as it goes to say with regards to the chickens, obviously. Um, so chickens require wheat, barley, sorghum, or oats, which are 25% of their feed requirements. Sunflowers are 25% of their feed requirement. And cracked corn is 75% of their feed. So you need to do cracked corn if you're going to be doing chickens. In total, you'll get 125% productivity. So what I'm going to do now is be a bit of a cheek. I'm going to add some money in and I'm going to go and grab a pickup um, because we've only got one tractor and that's going to take me a while to get around the map with. So bear with me. I'm going to get a pickup, put some more money in, and then I can show you the other things that I need to show you. I have grabbed the pickup. I've put some more money in, so it's time to get around the map. We've got quite a lot to fit in. Um, something I will say as well is um, I'm, a lot of this is what I'm reading from what it says. I've checked a few things, but I can't check everything. Like I said, it's a map tour, not an in-depth check of everything on the map. It does say at the bottom, though, any comments, suggestions, or to report bugs, floating trees, etc., there's an email there, mactrucker921 at gmail.com. So if you want to... Um, it, I know sometimes people will comment on my video to tell me that something's not working or it's not doing what I said it would, and... I, I can't do anything about that, but that would be, if you want to report stuff like that, you can do it there, which is fantastic. We cross the road here. We have got the first, or the second, because we did the chickens, of the points that we need to buy. We do have a manure heap here, and we do have the cow pen, but we haven't got access to it yet. So we go to our map again. Let's go back up onto there. This plot to buy is 291,470. If we buy that, We've now got all of the triggers. As I said, this holds 250 cows. Now you can sell this again if you want to. Um, actually, when we get to the main farm, which I'm going to head to now, we'll talk about slot count. I'm going to cut across the grass. Oh, that was something I was to say. Part of the um, mods that have been added in. Grass textures. There's a, there's a few different grass textures there as well. So as we come to the main farm area, which is just here, which you start with on New Farmer, we do have a workshop trigger just here. Now, this is my second question mark. Um, it does say about vehicles, and it says, there is a wide selection of starting equipment to get you started. So, slot count on New Farmer is 1,043. On Farm Manager and Start from Scratch is 866. The difference between the two, on New Farmer, you do start with all the pens, the farmhouse, the, the chicken coop, and all the buildings around here. 
on farm management start from scratch you don't you do still start with the start machinery but you don't start with any of the buildings and the farm where you start at the um, farmhouse and this area will look like this so as far as equipment goes if we go down uh, to here this is what's got me puzzled where it says there's a wide selection of starting equipment to get you started. We start with a Magnum 340, a cultivator, a cedar, a fertilizer spreader, and a baler. That's it. That's it. It's not a huge amount. I was checking to look for required mods. I thought, have I missed something? Um, that's all we start with. Well, that's all we've got on console. I don't know whether on PC there's supposed to be more. I'm not too sure. Um, but continuing on, we do have the barn just over there we've got a fuel point there and then around the map one here at the main farm and then a few of the cell points we've got this this is a buy point for lime seed solid fertilizer and mineral feed it does say about slurry and digestate slurry can also be purchased at the farm shops if needed so not this one but the farm shops uh, yeah so that's a buy point We've got the Farmer 800 silo, but this is the modded one, which is a multi-fruit silo, 1 million litres. That's a liquid manure tank, which is also a million litres. And then we've got another bit of barn space up there with um, our cedar in. If we go around to here, we've got the sheep pen. Like I said, these you won't have um, at the start. This will hold, was this 500, this one? So we come from the cows across the grass down to here. Uh, so we're now here. This little plot here will set you back 190,000. Buy that. And your triggers will appear. There you go. Uh, this will hold 500 sheep. And obviously, like it said before, there is a bale trigger point. So you can put bales in um, for feed and for bedding on the others. And then as we head out, so we've got chickens, we've got cows, we've got sheep. On the way out of the farm area, we have got pigs. I haven't come across a horse pen anywhere. I've just realised something. As I was glancing over there to drive away, I suddenly thought, and I, when I drove past to go to the sheep, my brain saw it but didn't register. The other thing I was going to point out, and I didn't mention, was number plates. There are New Jersey number plates on the vehicles. That was on my list. Um, is the cedar. The cedar's the wrong colour. And I suddenly thought, hang on a minute, I'm sure people will have already commented because they won't have wanted to wait to the end of the video to say it. Um, if we go into our menu, and go to cedars and go along to the end we've got a modded cedar in there so we've got the lemkin solitaire 12 um, but this one does all crop types still 5800 liters but it will do everything rather than just seeding crops it will do planter crops as well i did have a quick double check to make sure under planters but there's not a modded one in there it's just that one as far as i can tell um, i don't think Again, short of going through every piece of equipment, I don't think there's anything else. Huh, there we go. Look, modded. There are. So there's a load more stuff. So there's a modded baler. I'm glad I came in to check this as well. Um, I did have a quick check initially and I couldn't see anything. I was checking trailers and auger wagons and things like that. Nothing like that, or potato technology. No, I think it might just be... Oh, there you go, modded. Why are those modded? They don't do anything different, unless it's just the fact you can have different colours on them. Just design colours, I think that might be why. It's the colours that, that stood out. That one just was, seemed obvious to me, so I assume these were modded then. Let's check the fertiliser spreader. Better check. We've got time, yeah. Modded, difference. 3,200 litres, 42 metres spread. 4,000 litres. Okay, so that's bigger capacity. That one will just do um, solid fertiliser. That will do lime and solid fertiliser. It's out to 42 metres though. Okay, that was worth a look. Um, what else was there? Let's check on the large tractors, because now I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm glad I caught it. 
let's go out to our magnum there let's go out to the end yep magnum afs connect series on the end 850 horsepower what's that one do 435 okay so there we go Whew. so when i said about the vehicles there not being many of them what we have got we have got some modded stuff i better check trucks and things as well I don't think we've got anything under harvesters. I'm assuming it's just because they've given us that start machinery because this is all the stuff that's been modded. I didn't even think to look. Let's have a look at the equipment we start with. Large tractor. What does it say there? Just 374 horsepower. If it does say we've got to 850. That's nuts. Okay. We have got another manure heap here for the pigs. Now if we swing around to here and goes to the map on here. We're now at this point. To buy that, it's 101,509. Buy that. And our pigs trigger will appear. And this was, was this 350? 350 pigs you can put into here. So, that's your animal pens and your main farm area. Heading from here, we are going to head north. We are We've got a bit of a drive. There's going to be a few bits where we are going to go back across ourselves. I'll show you on the map where they are uh, when we do. The landscape looks amazing. I mean, it's, I, I, you know, it's a silly thing to say it feels very natural because it's based on satellite images of a real place. Of course it is. But um, yeah, it does have a really nice feel to it. I like the, the sweep of the landscape. I'm glad I went for a pickup. I was umming and ahhing whether to do it or not. I was going to get a tractor and, and I thought, well, he didn't stop at the stop sign. I must admit I wasn't going to either, and I knew I would get a load of grief for it. I have done before on map tools. <laughs> Don't want the rosas after me. That's something I'd like to see come to a console as a mod. It'll be a police car. The sheriff's got like a pack, a police vehicle's pack. So like a British police car, a sheriff's, you know, sort of thing maybe. That'd be quite cool. I don't know why it hasn't actually. If we can bring pickups and things like that. Anyway, coming into this air, air, area, this area here, we are at the um, just checking on my list. This is Farm Shop North. We've got Farm Shop North. We've got the debris crusher that only costs ten grand to buy. So, if I buy that, for example, and then click on it, you'll see I don't have any of the things working on there. Biogas plant we've already got because we've got the verges, the periphery, but it will take. Uh, stones, but it doesn't require stones and water. Uh, just stones, and then you can get lime out. 500 to 400, you lose, lose a little bit, but it only requires stones, so that's pretty good. Uh, we have then got the uh, farm stores north bale sell point, and then we've got another one of those silos there for buying lime seed, fertilizer, mineral feed. And then over here, we've got a solar array. Now, this was also part of, we're going to build mode, I think it was under productions and generators on the end there there's a solar farm so it'll pay seventy-two thousand a month so if you've got your set on one day months so that's 72 grand i think it works out three thousand an hour it said obviously that will spread out depending on how many days you've got in your month 1295 to buy a new one that being said if we go on to the uh, map so we've come all the way up there across the top and down here. So the solar array that's sitting there, we can buy that one for 786,553. So it's cheaper than buying a new one, still fairly pricey, but that will pay out quite nicely. If you want to buy the solar array, you can. From here, we're going to drive across the top of the map. I do it every time. Why do I keep turning the engine on? Honestly, my notes today. <laughs> I'm looking down in absolute horror, trying to find my place on there and remember where I've got to. <laughs> and the next point we're going to come to is going to be Grain Cell Point North, I think. Yeah, pretty sure it is. So heading across the top of the map, we've got a couple of points where roads head south. The one we just came up where we're supposed to stop, but no one else seems to bother, so I won't. Um, and then we've got another one. But we'll head south in a moment. We'll be using that one in a little while. Now, pretty much all productions are on the map. 
we've got a lot to to get around that's what i mean i like all this this kind of sweeping bouncing terrain it's cool so the cell point over there that is grain cell point north just there carrying on you're talking that that would make more sense can i get past him before that car comes risky business We've got the cereal factory. All purchase, purchasable as production chains. That's why I'm puzzled by, that's why I said there are question marks over why the, when it says that the pallet capacities are more, why the carpentry wasn't and why the, the uh, flour wasn't. But anyway, livestock, mar livestock market or animal dealer, however you'll refer to it, here. Now what we're going to do from this point, and like I said, we're going to go back across ourselves. We come all the way across the top of the map here. That was the uh, grain cell north. Um, cereal factory and livestock market. So we're going to go back along here to this main road and head down. So I will see you when we're on the downward leg. So heading south now. You just see the blue discs there. Coming up on our right hand side is the tailor shop. So our tailors are taking your fabric for making clothes. It's just there. A little bit further along we have got the supermarket. We've got supermarket sale point, just there. Next door to that, we've got Pizzeria. Now, some of these cell points take some of the new crop type, uh, say the new, like cracked corn and cornmeal. Uh, again, I'm not going to read them all out, but if you go on and you check out the uh, the cell prop points and the price guides, you'll be able to see where those are. So that's the Pizzeria. Biogas plant, just here on the right-hand side. Two large silage clamps. And the point's just there. Now this one will do, it does regular stuff. I don't think it does anything particularly crazy, the, the biogas plant. Uh, silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet. The recipes, because this isn't one of those ones where you, can, um, where you keep hold of the methane. So your electricity and methane will just sell automatically. So it will just do your digestate. So silage, slurry, manure and sugar beet cut. This one will take. And then next door to that is the carpentry, which is where I tested the... Uh, I bought a load of planks and then ran some furniture. So carpentry is just there. And now I'm going to head across, heading east again. I tried to do the most efficient route, as I always do when I do map tours. As efficient as I possibly can on the road. That could have ended badly. So next up across the road, we have got the sawmill. Well, the sawmill has been tweaked as well. I think I've got enough money to buy it. Uh, so we've got a sawmill point for dropping off logs just there. Our wood chips will be spawning over there. And then we've got a biomass heating plant over there, which is sort of separate to the sawmill, but so that's a sell point. But if we go over here and buy this, rather than just bringing your logs, let's buy it and click on it turn it off so you can set the recipe for planks so you bring your logs drop them off and you, well, you can do planks but you can also just produce wood chips so normally you get wood planks with a few wood chips on the side but if you want to just do wood chips you can just bring your logs dump them in and set it off on wood chips um, it's a one-to-one -one as well for your logs and wood chips so that kind of works out pretty good so it's a slight tweak on a standard sawmill that does give you the ability to do either and then, like I said, the biomass heating plant is just there. Uh, from here, where are we heading? Oh, yeah. Continuing east. So I say east other way. I'm going east now. Tucked up the back there, just off the main road. You can just see the disc as we go past. Is the spinnery. It's just off the main road. And then a bit further along, we will come to the oil mill and farmer's market. I'm pretty sure it is. On the left-hand side, coming up. Oil mill, just there. Farmer's market, just there. I will turn around here. 
So we need to head back to the main road again. This is your farmer's market. Back into the centre of the, the... Well, I say pretty much centre of the map again. Uh, I'll see you back there. And then we'll head south again. Actually, you know what? Now's probably a good time. We'll just have another double check on the map. To see where we have been. And where we're going. So, we came south down here. The tailors. And then we had the uh, yeah supermarket, pizzeria, biogas plant, uh, carpentry. Came across the sawmill. Uh, the wood chip point or where the wood chips will be stored and your biomass heating plant spinnery oil mill farmers market so we're now heading back along to this main road and we're gonna head south again to take in the ones down towards the south we will do a loop around and it will bring us pretty much back to the main farm i think i i may well miss something if i do i apologize like i say this was one of those ones there was so much information when I opened the, the, the details up on the ModHub website and saw just lines and lines and lines and lines. But it's great because often you'll get a map that has got loads of complicated stuff and there's no instruction. There's no, you have no idea of what's where or how to use it. So actually, you know, whilst there is a lot of information there, it's kind of good to have really. So we're heading south, turning just there on the left hand side, takes you up to the grape processing unit. That's just out there. To our right, we've got the dairy, tucked in amongst the trees there. Then we're going to take a left and head east again. And we will have Crane Cell Point South, I think it is. See, no one stops at the stop signs. So, Grain cell point south, just there. On the left, coming up, we've got the sugar mill, just there. I'm sure, we had some right here. Oh yeah. So coming out to here, we've got farm shop south. There's Farm Shop South Bales, and there's um, one of the buy points as well. So we've got the sell point area there, Farm Shop South, Farm Shop South Bales, and then we've got the buy point there for lime fertilizer seed. And then out on the very end, we've got fast food restaurants. Just here. So again, we're gonna head back we're going to cross over where we just came down because we're now heading down the south of the map. I will see you at that crossroads momentarily. It feels like a very big map. So, coming up on the crossroads. I was going to say, the um, lighting's very good. The colour palette's nice. Uh, oh yeah, the texture palette. I was, I was saying, wasn't I, about the... Um, the grass textures I didn't show you if we go into build mode we go along to landscape and then we go to painting there's not a huge amount texture wise but if we go to plants go to the end here we've got grass grass small grass medium normally you just have a grass one and then meadow so you have got a few different options there which is again something a bit different I haven't really come across that very often normally you have grass and grass meadow or just meadow so that's quite nice now this next point this could be the conversion over to console um, it could be the map may need to have an update or it could be it's entirely intentional um, I'm in August so I was kind of thinking well maybe it was a winter thing but I'm in August so down the bottom here we've got a pond uh, this is the pond water fill the texture on this and I'm just showing you what's here I'm not knocking it I'm just saying this is what it looks like so when you come down to here it looks like it's frozen It does splash when you go into it, but that's a water fill point. Uh, like I say, it may be that that's the, that may well be the texture that was intended, um, but I'm just saying that's what's there. From here, we are going to go out to the end, to the next road over, just to the south of us. There we've got the bakery. Just here. I like as well, I know with all the sweeping terrain, there's no, I say nothing worse, I don't mind a flat map, you know, I'm, I'm playing on uh, 
Western Wilds and I'm loving it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, this just adds a lot of character, doesn't it? And I think it's it gives it a, a, a nice immersive feel to it. And it is wide open. That ability to be able to plough fields together if you want to, make much larger fields. I mean, because the, the price of fields, because of the way it's been done, they're not cheap, but you absolutely can do if you want to. On the right-hand side, we've got our Grain Mill Plus. So that's the one that will give us corn meal and cracked corn, as well as the regular flour types. And then we've got our main vehicle store. Now, this is the one, like I said, because you've got the custom vehicle menu, when you click on the vehicle menu, it's this corner here that you see. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, if you sort of stand about, well, probably over a little bit further. If I go into the vehicle menu now, and we click on something to buy, that's where it puts you in this corner with the, the van is. I like, that's a brilliant, it's a nice feature because you are using the vehicle store menu, so why not put you with the vehicle store? Um, there's your, your five point, you've got workshop trigger just there. This is the reset point as well, so if you need to reset any vehicles for any particular reason, this is where they're going to reset back to. And then from here, yeah, we've got a second supermarket, or the first supermarket, depends on which way around you go around the, around the map. To our right hand side coming up, we've got another supermarket, just there. And we have pretty much done a loop round. Actually, you know what? I was panicking when I went round doing the sort of the prep for this, thinking it's going to take ages. I'm not going to be able to fit it all in. Um, I think the initial, sorry, it was a lot of talking at the start. There's a lot of information I wanted to get across. Um, so as we drive back up now, the supermarket leaving us far behind, we come straight along here and we're pretty much back to the farm. Now, as I said before, you can remove all this stuff you know and if you come onto your farm manual start from scratch you don't have any of these buildings or anything anyway so it depends on on what kind of mode you're going to come on the other thing to bear in mind is when you come to this point here as far as placeables go you might have to do a bit of landscaping to get some flat areas to put things down although there are things on here already you can see the sweep on the uh, on the ground here so stopping there coming back to our map so we came all the way down we swept out across the end here to the farm uh, sale points just there and the fast food restaurant. We came all the way back across to the pond area, the bakery, Grey Mill Plus, the vehicle workshop and reset point, the second supermarket. And we come all the way back up here and we're now back there. That's the map. Another quick scan through my notes to make sure we're OK. Fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed loads going on and obviously the more you play on it the more testing there will be you'll see using various different productions the ones that are going to give you larger capacities uh, pallets and things like that like i said i can't test all of them on a map tour that's not possible but like i said the flour was still coming out a thousand the furniture was a thousand the corn mill was coming out four thousand but i can't remember because that was a mod um from mac trucker 921 and i can't remember if they were four thousand litre pallets anyway so i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching